What's up, y'all? This is your boy, Reverend C, coming back at you with another episode of Reverend C's Kitchen, where we're cooking up a little bit of everything, except spirits. Now, getting the business part out of the way, uh, please make sure that you click like, subscribe to my channel, comment down below, uh, so I can continue to bring these scriptural affirmations uh, to you. Uh, also, if uh, you are in Florida's Treasure Coast or the Palm Beaches and you are in need of a Christian minister, either for counseling, baptisms, or for weddings, hit me up on this channel. I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, now, today's scriptural affirmation, uh, this is one that's probably affecting an overwhelming majority of people, and it's stress. How to deal with stress. How does... Bible tell us how to deal with stress. The Holy Bible uh, actually has, boy, I mean, the whole book is is a stress manual. Um, it, it takes up, down, you know, and and all places around and in between. Uh, but as far as in Scripture, trying to narrow it down uh, in the King James Bible, I uh, look in the Book of Psalms. Um, and Psalms is very good for a lot of things. I mean, you could you could pretty much pick Psalms apart for everything. Um, but I mean, it's it's a lot to read. I'm not gonna lie, it's a lot to read. Uh, so that's why I kind of do it for you, just hoping that you know I could point you in that direction. Uh, so uh, what I highlighted in the Book of Psalms is uh, chapter 27, uh, verse five, in the Book of Psalms. Uh, and uh, chapter uh, twenty, chapter twenty-seven, verse five tells us, "For he will hide me in his shelter in the day of trouble; he will conceal me under the cover of his tent; he will lift me high upon a rock." What we're being told here is that. As bad as things seem, and it paints that picture of, you know, being being so low, being too high, being out, you know, with zero concealment, to have that, that bond, that faith with God, that He is going to protect you no matter what. Okay, so that's, that's the first part of it. Uh, the second part of it, we just jump over to chapter 30, and uh, in chapter 30... Ironically, chapter 30, also verse 5, uh, it tells us, For his anger is but for a moment, and his favor is for a lifetime. Weeping may carry for the night, but joy comes with the morning. Exactly. What it's saying is, yeah, God is your father. And like any parent, your biggest fear becomes disappointing them as a child. And yeah, he might be disappointed with you now, for now, but he still loves you and will always love you no matter what. And the joy of the bond that you have with God, that is, should be enough to combat stress. Um, now, there is no stress. Uh, personally, this is um, a silent killer um, and people don't seem to realize why. And um, f just putting aside all the factors that you may be able to control or may not. Chemicals in the water, uh, GMO foods, um, unnecessary uh, medications, uh, either, you know, taken orally or intramuscular, if you know what I'm alluding to. Um, you know, toxins in the air. Putting all that aside, factors you may or may not be able to control in certain cases, stress is that one trigger, okay? And the constant feeding of stress, it's like the death by a thousand cuts. Um, little stress leads to more stress, which leads to a lot of stress, which leads to anxiety disorders, which can lead to clinical depression, which can 
affect also, you know, your blood pressure, which can affect your your circulatory system, which can which eventually can affect also your renal system, which can so it's all intertwined. God's creation is design is perfect. But all the parts are there for a reason and must work together in harmony and in unison. This is something that in Eastern medicine is very well understood, okay, versus in Western medicine, which is basically just balled up like a piece of garbage and thrown out. Uh, so keep that in mind to keep stress in check. Uh, I understand now when you jump into the realm of depression, uh, especially of the, you know, bipolar, manic, uh, besides you know, we're talking about stuff, in other words, stuff that may not be within your control. Um, it's just for whatever birth defect or whatever reason, okay? Genetics, if they want to blame that, that's fine. Uh, th that's a little bit different. Um, and, and each person has to kind of uh, choose which path they walk on that as far as how they, how they choose to alleviate that, that, you know, um, how should I say that deficit, right, in their uh, in their lives. Uh, but that's again on each individual. Um, now Psalms 37, chapter 37, verse 7 and 8. So when we jump to chapter 37, verse 7 and 8, it tells us, "Be still before the Lord and wait patiently for Him." Fret not yourself over the one who prospers in his way, over the man who carries out evil devices. Refrain from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not yourself. It tends only to evil. Exactly. Uh, this I touched upon in the other uh, scripture uh, in relations to anger management. Um, and stress is kind of like that entry point it's like it's like say the the marijuana of of mental health okay it's the entry the entry level drug uh so even though i don't consider marijuana to be but i'm just just uh you know we're, we're speaking here allegorically per se uh so stress is the gateway drug to all the other anxiety disorders or even physical disorders um, this is why heart disease is so high uh, in the United States uh, why there's so many people uh, that are suffering from hypertension why there's so many people on uh, they're suffering from social anxiety disorders from uh, mental health disorders all kinds of things and it all starts from stress now again this is out of your control in certain cases so what you got to do is focus on the things you can control and brush off the ones you can't. It's difficult, it's hard, but you got to keep it in check. And God gave us the blueprint on how to do it. That's just a little bit. That's just a tidbit of it. Uh, so do whatever you can to keep that stress in line, keep it in order. Uh, breathe, meditate, get a hobby, you know, uh, learn to relax. Whatever you got to do, fishing, kendo, um, play with your kids on the playground. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. It doesn't have to be much. You know, bring God's word to the people. That's what Jesus wanted us to do. Uh, so that's it for today, boys and girls. I went on a little long. Uh, sometimes the, um, the, uh, the amateur psychologist gets the better of me. Uh, but, uh, as always, uh, wanted to say, uh, thanks for your support and, uh, thank you for stopping in to Reverend C's kitchen. Uh, always reminding you be safe, be ye kind one to another. Peace out. And I will catch you on the next one. Amen. Mm -hmm.